Hey guys, Megan Mitchell here. I've been loving your submissions to our Stella Artois food board, and for the season finale, you inspired me to head to the North Shore in Hawaii. I'm excited to explore the beaches and make an amazing meal. One hour from Honolulu, Oahu's North Shore is dotted with quaint little beach towns, and it happens to have some of the best surfing in the world. With seven miles of beach and waves that can swell over 30 feet, surfers head here from all over the globe. In the North Shore, you can find some of the best shaved ice on the island. It's a treat the locals go nuts for. They use local flavors for their syrups, and surprise, there's ice cream at the bottom. Today I'm making baby back ribs, a cabbage slaw, and ahi pokey. I'm gonna start with my baby back ribs. I'm gonna start by sprinkling it with a little Hawaiian sea salt. And what they do is they bake the salt with the red clay that you find on the island. That's what gives it that bright pinkish red color. And then some freshly ground black pepper. So now I'm gonna tightly wrap it up with the foil because I want it to almost steam when I put it on the grill. I have my grill preheated to about medium low heat and I'm gonna put it on indirect heat, which means half of my grill is lit and the other half isn't, and my grill will actually act like an oven and cook my ribs perfectly. While my ribs cook, I'm gonna make my guava glaze that goes on top of them, and it starts with guava jelly, about a cup, and then half a cup of ketchup. You can kinda of eyeball it a little bit. Some fresh ground chili sauce, and you need a teaspoon of the sauce. A fourth of a cup of water. This helps thin it out a little bit and three tablespoons of unsalted butter. I'm gonna set this aside, and now I'm gonna move on to my scallions, or my green onions. And I'm gonna use just the bottom part, the white part, and a little bit of the light green part. I'm gonna finely mince these. And I'm gonna save the bright green tops for later. Perfect, and then my ginger. And the spoon just peels the skin right off. I need about an inch. I'm gonna use my zester and I'm just gonna grate this fresh ginger right into my ketchup, my guava jelly. Perfect. And one large garlic clove and then I'm gonna grate that in too. I'm gonna give this a little stir. I'm gonna put it on medium, medium low heat and I'm gonna just cook it about 10 to 15 minutes. The best part about this sauce, it doesn't need to be hot for the ribs. I can let it sit room temperature. I can even pop it in the fridge until my ribs are ready. Onto my cabbage slaw. I have a beautiful Napa cabbage here, and I'm gonna half it. I don't need this other half, I'm gonna save that for later. And I'm gonna thinly slice it into little ribbons. Put this in my bowl. Next, I'm gonna mandolin my Persian cucumbers. I like using a mandolin because it gives me even and consistent slices. If I was doing this by hand, it would take me longer. They might not be as pretty. I'm gonna do about four of these. i put them in with the cabbage. Perfect. Next, I need a half cup of fresh cilantro. I'm gonna take out these stems, just give it a rough chop. Add that to the bowl as well. And next I have some dry roasted chopped peanuts, about three fourths a cup, I'm gonna add that to the bowl as well. That's a really nice crunch and obviously a nutty flavor. I really like it with the slaw. And lastly, I have this beautiful mango that I bought at a market up the street and I just cubed it up. Now onto my dressing. The juice of two limes, a third of a cup of canola oil, which is just a very mild flavored oil two tablespoons of rice wine vinegar, two teaspoons of granulated sugar, and one teaspoon of garlic chili sauce. Adds a nice kick of heat. And then one and a half teaspoons of Hawaiian sea salt, and then one clove of garlic grated directly into the bowl. I'm gonna just whisk this together and pour it over my slaw. And then just toss. It smells so good. And to finish it off, I have this little seasoning, sesame seeds and salt and seaweed all mixed together. The best thing about this slaw is the longer it sits, the better it tastes. Now onto my ahi pokey salad. And pokey is a Hawaiian sashimi salad, and today I'm using ahi tuna, and it's gorgeous. What I'm gonna do is thinly slice it, and then slice it the other way to cube it. I'm gonna put this all in a bowl. To my tuna, I'm gonna add one tablespoon of sesame oil one tablespoon of low sodium soy sauce, and then some black sesame seeds, about two teaspoons, and then two green onions, the greens and the whites, and then one small serrano chili. And this is where I'm gonna get a little kick of heat. I'm gonna leave the seeds in. If you don't like things spicy, you can take out the seeds to the bowl. And I'm just gonna mix this together. 
and I'm gonna set this aside and move on to my avocado. I'm gonna cut it in half and take the pit out. And depending on how soft or how firm your avocado is, you can either mash it or you can cube it. Mine's pretty soft, so I'm gonna mash it. And to that, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of fresh cilantro that I'm gonna chop up. And then ginger, I'm gonna peel it with my spoon again and grate it into the bowl. Juice of one lime. This adds a great flavor, but it also keeps the avocado from browning. And then one teaspoon of my garlic chili paste. Mix that all together. Now I'm gonna set this aside. And the last part, I promise, I'm gonna make the mayo sriracha sauce, which is my favorite part. And it starts with a half a cup of mayo, and then a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Adds a nice little kick. The juice from half of a lemon. I'm gonna squeeze this over my hand so I don't get any of the seeds in the sauce. And then, sriracha, which is garlicky, it's spicy, and it makes this sauce a bright pink color. Stir that together, and now onto assembly. I'm gonna start with the avocado mash. Put that down first. I'll make sort of a bed for the tuna to sit in. All right, that looks great. Next, my tuna, which has been marinating in the soy and the sesame oil. Pile that up on top of the avocado. It smells so good. And then a little of the sriracha mayo sauce. Just a drizzle on top. And then I'm gonna finish it with these little fried wonton strips. They add a nice little crunchy bite to the whole dish. And voila. These look so beautiful. And I think my ribs are ready. So these have steamed and they are falling off the bone. So I'm gonna put them back on my grill. Then I'm gonna glaze them. These look so beautiful. There's a nice crispy, crunchy crust from the glaze. I'm gonna start slicing them up. You wanna cut between the bones. These are meaty ribs. And it just cuts right through. These are just falling off the bone. I'm gonna pile them high on this beautiful wooden platter. Drizzle them with a little of the guava sauce all over, oh my gosh. Food makes me so happy. This is unreal. Remember those green onions and I used just the white part? Well, I saved the top green part and I made these little curly cues. And the last thing you want on a hot day is a heavy meal. Try pairing Stella Artois with these spicy guava glazed ribs for a light and refreshing meal. I had a blast here in Hawaii. It was the perfect way to end the series. Be sure to check out all of our videos and thanks for watching. Bye.